because I love pink and girly stuff or maybe chocolate. Anyway, if you guys are new to my channel and you have not subscribed already, then make sure you do. And that way you'll be the first to know when I post a new video. And you guys should totally try out these DIYs. If you do, be sure to use the hashtag VDay with Steph. And that way I can see everything you tweet to me and I can like, follow, retweet, all that jazz. So without further ado, if you want to see how to make some really cute DIY Valentine's Day room decor, then just keep on watching. The first DIY is my absolute favorite and you can actually use these year round not just on Valentine's Day. You're going to need some wooden letters and you want to make sure that they're thick enough to support the weight of books so I actually bought a set of two for each letter and I glued them together. Then you're just going to paint them any colors that you'd like. I decided to do all light pink and then paint the O a bright red. You can't see it in my face but I'm about to play my A. Once you're finished painting them, then you just want to make sure that they dry, and then it's the fun part, and you're going to glue the letters on top of each other. So I'm gluing the L on top of the O, and then the V on top of the E. You could totally stop right there and leave them as it is, or if you want to make them a little more cute, you could add some stickers to embellish the O. Baby, you, you my ride or die. This next DIY is so Tumblr and beyond easy. Starting off, all you'll need is some twigs or sticks from outside and some white paint. And very simply, all you're going to do is paint the branches white. Once you finish painting your branches, you're just going to need some hearts. And I'm actually using some foam glitter hearts, but if you don't have this, you can just cut out hearts from paper. I'm just arranging them in a really random order, but I have to say, I think this turned out so cute. It makes me so happy to look at. DIY number three is this adorable conversation hearts decor. First, you'll need this little wooden pole, and I just painted mine white, and I actually bought my pole from Michaels. Next, you're going to need some pink sparkly paper, and you're just going to cut out two little triangles and glue them on one end of the pole to make it look like the front of an arrow. Then for the back end of the arrow, you're going to need some feathers, and you can just arrange them any way that you'd like. So now that the arrow is complete, we can move on to the hearts. I just went online and I printed out this heart template and then I'm taking some colored cardstock and I'm just tracing it and cutting them out. Then you're just going to need some clear fishing line and you're just going to tie some pieces hanging from the arrow. Once you've tied as many pieces as you'd like to, I did three in case you're wondering, you're just going to glue your hearts onto the string. To make these conversation hearts come to life, I'm using some stickers to write out some cute slogans. And that's it for the DIY. I think it's so cute and it would look adorable if you were to put it over your bed or on your wall or maybe in your doorway. And a really quick and easy non-DIY way to decorate your room for Valentine's Day is to take advantage of all the candy available. And I'm just using some conversation hearts, which, funny because it's in my last DIY. And I am just putting them in a cute little cupcake container and putting this on my nightstand. DIYs turned out so cute. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I love talking to you guys on there and I have like the strongest urge to do like a massive follow spree. So make sure you're following me because I have a feeling it's going to be really soon. Did you catch that? Anyways, that's it for today's video and thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys super soon. Bye! What am I doing?